We are back at Nelson Racing Engines Dyna Wing in our new room, finally. Holy moly. So we've got our new dyno operating. It's still using, you know, the DTS housings, but uh, we went ahead and made our own billet water break and this should be good for a little more horsepower and we're testing a uh, 454 LSX on the dyno right now which we've modified <coughs> modified we've changed the heads up in a cam and we've done something kind of interesting with this is we've got this big CID 4 barrel on here and what I think is pretty cool about this whole thing, we're, we're setting this up for an off-road deal. So we took a, a 4150 and put it on a Dominator base and then, you know, modified it so it's got uh, side-hung floats and a spring-loaded needle and seat and then it's got these little evacs here for the bowl and then it's got a vent tube that'll spill into the carburetor, you know, if you're getting crazy off-road. But I guess there's some, you know, a lot of new carb classes coming out in the off-road world. So this is kind of something different. Uh, we've been screwing around with our own MDF uh, carb spacers here. It looks pretty uh, homemade there, but uh, kind of getting some ideas while we're testing the motor doing that. Um, running it through an inch and seven eighths header probably needs a bit more header, but Again, just playing around on the dyno. Um, and this thing has got a uh, billet daily pump, which is kind of cool. The, the pump, uh, it just is built into the pan. So the scavenges are built into the pan and then you just kind of shoot it out to the, uh, to the tank here. Steph's made us this pretty cool tank for our dyno. Works really nice. But yeah, we're back. We're back in town. Nelson Dinos, come again. That thing lights pretty damn quick. Let's do that again. So for a carbureted big block with a and pretty much tunnel ram looking four barrel on it. Listen to this thing fire. So it's kind of fun to do a uh, carbureted LS, you know? Single four barrel. I always like this, it's this kind of cool. Like, you see, these center runners and then just can imagine the air going in the valve and then coming back out the valve. It, that whole four barrel thing just, I don't know, it kind of looks cool when you have it set up right. We went ahead and just hung the factory coils underneath for the dyno so it's running on factory coils. Get a better view of this pan here. It's kind of a crazy looking pan all billet and it's uh, got all the scavengers built into it. This is kind of cool too. It's a, uh, I mean, I'm sure everybody used it, but for the guys that don't know, this little MSD LS series, it's pretty damn affordable. It's like, you know, under 400 bucks and you can, you know, laptop program your ignition curve. It's got a 2.5 bar map sensor included in there. The USB from your computer will power it. 
and uh, it's actually, I actually think it's pretty bitchin'. It's got a uh, little selectable deal here where you can put your custom curves in. So custom one, two, three, four, all on a little pot switch. So you can change the timing uh, just with a little screwdriver. And I don't know, but keeping its own harness, it was pretty bitchin' for the money. off for sure. But if you look at this intake, I mean, the freaking plenum floor is here. You know, I mean, we're talking about a big ass plenum and uh, this little carburetor, well, I'll show you in the video, it's responsive, real responsive on something like this. Uh, and it's something neat to point out for everybody watching. By the way, yes, that carb spacer is ho doke but we're just testing different things. Oh, yeah! Here's a nice little pull of this engine that you just saw right there. It's a uh, making 707 horsepower at 6,700 RPM. 610 foot-pounds and you know it's got that classic 1500 rpm spread in between peak torque and horsepower air fuels look really nice you know in the 12s for a carburetor motor that's pretty stable you know you know a couple tenths of a point in the entire pull massive amount of oil pressure uh, and you know what I think it's gonna run hellaciously good. <laughs> 